Hello everyone. How many of you like plants here? I'm sure we all do. And do we know why these plants are green in color? Right, it is because of the presence of chlorophyll inside a cell structure called chloroplast. So today we are going to draw an electron microscopic structure of a chloroplast and see how it looks like. It is going to be a diagrammatic presentation, but I'm going to make it very, very easy for you. So let's get together and draw the diagram of a chloroplast. Today we are going to draw the diagram of a chloroplast. Chloroplast is a granular cell organelle found in the plant cells and we will see how we can draw the diagram of chloroplast very easily. So the chloroplast if you remember is a double membrane bound structure. I will as always ask you to draw the diagram towards the left hand side of the page so that we can label the diagram on the light, right hand side. So we have drawn the reference lines like you can see and here the length of the chloroplast is slightly more than its width. So if you are confident and you do not need reference lines that's fine but usually a reference line helps you to get the shape right. So now I will draw the shape first. This is the outer membrane of the chloroplast. You do not need the reference lines anymore once you have drawn the shape. So you can erase them. Now since this is a double membrane bound structure, I will draw another membrane. Make sure the distance between the two membranes remains the same all throughout. So the distance should not decrease and increase in different points. Please have a steady hand. And when you are drawing the diagram, make sure that the distance between the two remain the same. That's the inner membrane. Now we are going to draw the thylakoids inside. So you can draw few thylakoids, as many as you want. I am drawing five. So when I am drawing the thylakoids, see I have drawn these lines. This will be the length of the grana. So now I am drawing the thylakoids. You know they are disc shaped structures. This is a very diagrammatic presentation. So we will draw the thylakoids as discs. Again, let me repeat that this is a very diagrammatic presentation. This is not exactly how the thylakoids and the grana look. Now that we have finished drawing the thylakoids and the grana, we are going to connect them with double lines. Now these connections also you can do as you want but make sure that every grana is connected to at least one granum. Alright, so that is how the structure looks like now. Now we will put dots to show that the chloroplast is filled with a jelly like matrix. I am sure you know that this matrix is known as stroma. Be careful with the dots, do not rush. The dots should look like dots and not lines. What else is present inside the chloroplast? Chloroplast like mitochondria has its own DNA. So we will draw DNA here. And of course it has its ribosomes. So you can draw ribosomes in certain places. Since chloroplast photosynthesizes and produces starch, you can find starch granules which we draw like this. Okay. So with that, the diagram of the chloroplast is complete. So now we will label the diagram and for that we can draw a faint line here so that we can keep all the lab labelings on the right hand side of this line. Whenever you are labelling, please remember to draw the lines with a ruler and keep the lines parallel. There should be no lines crisscrossing each other. We will try to label as much as we can towards the right hand side and just in case if there is still something that you want to label and it cuts through the entire diagram if you label on the right hand side then we will label it on the left hand side. This keeps the diagram neat. So I will be labeling this 
on the left hand side because this will keep the diagram neat. I do not want to take this to the right so then I will be cutting through the diagram. So let us start labeling. This is the outer membrane, this is starch, this is the inner membrane, this is the space in between the two membranes. So this is known as the periplastidal space. This is the thylakoid since we are labeling only one. So this is the thylakoid. These are the ribosomes. So I am just labeling one. This is the DNA. And finally, this is the granum. As I said, granum is singular. Since I am labeling only one, I will write granum. And grana is plural. So finally, I will be giving a heading or a footer to this diagram denoting what I have drawn. So this is the diagram of the chloroplast and that is how it should look like. Hope you found this useful and now you will be able to draw the diagram of chloroplast with ease. So I hope now you can draw the diagram easily. Do hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also please check out our website manochaacademy.com and our Android app Manocha Academy for full courses on physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, coding and artificial intelligence. Links are given below. Stay connected with us and keep learning.